<coughs> welcome back guys so if you haven't subscribed please do do subscribe that will really encourage me to drop more content like this in the future so um so we're going to start the texturing phase of this and i already have a reference for this around here that i'm going to be using okay so let me just put this around here I think this should be fine here. Should raise this up. So let's go to the head. Delete this. Let's also solo this. Okay. Go back to the layers. I have to create a new few layer in here. Turn everything off apart from normal map. Then I will plug in the normal map for the head. I'm doing this just to get another extra level of detail on top of this. Something pretty much like this should be fine. Maybe maybe a bit too aggressive, so let me just name this to normal. Come in here to the channel, go to normal channel. Let's reduce that a bit. Right then I'll create a new okay, if I create a new fill layer. I'd like to Start with the red on that tone for this as my base, and I have a preset for that already. You will find this the making of that in my in my albino character playlist for texturing for this for the texturing process for the skin. So I show you guys how I kind of build that procedurally from scratch. So I think it should be base something. So KC rare skin base. I also be, I think I should be dropping this smart material also on the description of this video. So everything is completely procedural. So the entire thing is completely procedural. As you can see go back and use base color so if i should open up that folder so i should open up that folder I'll just do a quick breakdown so let me just side all of this so hide all of that so this is the base we have the base tone here then we have this dark red tone i'll just proceed around Materials on top of this. I don't know if it's enough. This one is for the marble, marble vein. Hmm. Now this other one is a much thicker or broader marble veins on top of this. Then we have another one that's more greenish. You have one that's more purplish in nature. So. All of this turned down this is what we get this is, which will serve as a good base for us okay so then i will create a new fill layer on top of this i'll also be playing with the take down the i don't need metallic it doesn't need metallic turn off ice turn off normal maybe make this slightly rough like so So, well, I'm not going to do this to sink. Let's use a neutral pose. I say neutral pose, I mean neutral AGRI for the background. So, you can better see the skin textures properly. Okay, so I'm using the Tomaco Studio. 
I'm going to need Tomaco Studios. More of a neutral light setup to it. Alright, so I'll turn this back on. So I want to kind of pick the color for this. So I'm going to be using this polarized reference in here. Kind of unpick the colors. There's some other references. There's, a, there's some other references I have scattered around that I can also use too. Okay. I kind of like this tone though. Let's see. Let's pick. Let's pick. Okay. I think this tone like this looks nice. But it looks it's towards the brownish though. So what the brownish brownish term? Maybe I will just use this later on. So I will just duplicate this, hide this. So let's pick a better tone in here. Yeah, more. That's too yellowish. Something like this should be fine. Yeah, see something like this should be fine. I'll just name this to yellow fill tone. Add the black marks to it. Then we'll go to the brush panel. We're going to be using the dead brush for this. Uh, so doing this, we're going to be doing this with symmetry turned on. So let's turn on symmetry for this. Okay. Though we can kind of splash this some procedurally though if you want to. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that before going and painted. Let's see if we can work more procedure more with procedural texture before going and painting on there. Okay, so I can actually pick one of these. I can actually come down here and pick one of these. Can pick this layer, just duplicate this and drag this all the way up. Put this here. Let me hide this for now. All we have to do is just to change the tone. Let's use this. Let's use this brownish tone we have on that here. But we also need to randomize the max. So go in the IBW. Let's randomize the seed. Mm, something like this should work as a good base. As you see on the keyboards coming here, I would also reduce. Let me see. Think something like this should be fine. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. So now we can turn this back on. I think I can go and paint in here now, I believe. Okay. So I'll just go over this and just keep painting some bright out. Let me take this down. Let me take down the flow, take down the opacity. Okay. Just go over this. I'll go a bit strong and dead on top of the head okay all right 
sides I'm still going to bring in some of this red on that one back later on but for now let's just kind of paint them off Okay. Think something like this should be fine. It's a good base. Okay, so um Let's pick another color from this. So I would duplicate this, add the black marks to it. Mm, okay, let's pick. Let's pick more of a white hat on to it now. more of a white hat on okay, I think I need to hide this should probably do a quick save also in here just to be on the safe side okay hide this also Oh, there's a black totally for the black marks in there. Let's remove the marks for now. Okay. I think this white tone should be it. Okay, I'll oh, add the black marks to it. Hmm. I look for a specific region to paint this. You can see some around the corner of the you can see some around the corner of the eye. Turn this on. Let's see what we have here. Painting around the jaw. Okay. Around the air. Then we'll paint a bit more of that around, around this region. Around more of the lower parts of the neck, which is rather. Let's see. Oh, I want the color pilot in here. I could have even used. But anyways, we're still on the right track. We're still on the right track. Yeah, paint some more. Yeah, okay, okay. I'll do some more for the top parts of the head.
let's see if we need maybe a very light version of that for the for the forehead very light version okay Right, let's see this completely. Let's see what we have. Okay, I think I'm to, I think I need to erase that for the forehead. So I hit X on the keyboard and try and clean that off some more, like so. Okay. So we see some more some goldish brown. There's some goldish brown around the neck region, so let's implement that let me name this to white well, let me pay white instead done okay then i would um uh let's see Okay, I think I need to introduce some purplish tone to some of this purplish tone. So I'm just going to duplicate this at the black marks. I think I have a purple tone here. This tone should be just fine. So I'm just going to select this and pick this tone in there. Okay. But this should, I think this should be under this white. Let me leave, leave it up, up, for, up for now. For now, then. See on the keyboard, take down the brush size. So I'll just paint this around here. Around here. Okay. Raise the brush size some more and just paint some more around here. Basically, painting them as patches. You can see some around here. Also, on top of the nose. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I can see some around the neck, but I think I'll go light and dead on this. Let's go a bit light and dead. It's not all over the place; it just patches. I'm going slightly light and dead. So I'm not applying too much pen pressure on this very light handed. Let's see what we have. Yeah, that's fine. Then I'm going to drag this below the white stone layer. Then even lower it a bit more, like so. So it's not extremely obvious, but still there. If I turn this off and on, you can see small changes on top of it. Yeah, like so should be fine. Then for this dark brown, dark or goldish brown we have around top of this. I think we can actually pick the color from here. It should be this color tone also. See the same tone. So I'm just going to duplicate this. Let me rename this to. Name this to. Uh, purple splatter 
I mean, okay, purple patches, patches stone, and that's better name for it. Save my file again. Okay, um, yeah, I go brown, so I'll duplicate this layer, add the black marks to it. So select. Select this can be this stone. No, not that one. I think this one. Yeah, this one. But let's see. Let's see where this is also somewhere around there too. Let's just use. Let's use this instead. So I'm going to be using a different brush for this so You can see it around the uh, see if i can bring out the draw too so you can see the color around the air around here a few around the air yeah also some few around the air i think those are like the major spots we can find that okay can see some also around the uh, around these parts okay so we're gonna try to recreate that in here but I think I think they bought a bit more okay you can see some around here also too so I just I think this is a major specific oh, major specific reason where we can find them okay so let's let's get to it How do I clear all of this? Okay. Let's clear all of this out. Alright. We're back in there. I can still use the same dead brush, so it should be fine using the same dead brush. Maybe let's try something else. Let's try this dead three. Look on the marks. It's see on the keyboard. I think I'll do this with symmetry turned off now. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um. I think I saw a little around the air, uh, around the corners of the eye. I think around the air. Uh, yeah, also. Yeah, also. Uh, okay. Miss some more around the air. Uh, Probably increase the brush size. Spacing. Do I need to increase the spacing? Okay. Add some more around the air. I'm still going to reuse the same color tone but in a different parts. Okay, let me change. Let's use the side side view so we can get get, get a better grasp of this. Okay. Let me see some around here. I'm doing this with symmetry turned off so I can actually break this apart even more. Okay. Um. Let's 
let's visualize this yeah obviously we need to take this down a bit more this is not extremely obvious and too sharp in there maybe down some more Look like so should be fine yeah, like so should be fine. So now this brown. Okay, I think this is the one I was actually looking for. The dots. Then this should be the one. It should be these dots. I want to check something. Let's see. If... Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah, I'm trying to figure something else. Okay. just helps add freckles to it so let's pick this brown this more brownish brownish tone do a quick save uh i'm just name this to yellow yellow patches Okay, uh, I'll duplicate this, name this to brown, brown, patches, add the black marks in there. So I'll try to make this as straightforward as possible. Yeah, this is the task, the tone. It's here on the keyboard. I think the brush we're going to be using it should be this one. Go to the max, increase this all the way up. Uh, nope, think not that's not the one. We'll use that for something else later on. Let's try this mousse. Not really dead spots. Yeah, this is a good one. I think this is a good one. So let's use that for. I'm, I'm going to turn on symmetry for this. So we can work a bit faster. Increase the brush size. <clears throat> let's figure out where those brown. Can see a bit more on the forehead. Okay. A bit more here. Yeah. Really brush size some more. So a bit more around here. Yeah. I also need to even bring, I think I'll need to bring this layer down. We need to put any say bits more around here. Okay, let's visualize this. Let's see what we have. I need to drag this underneath the. I think even underneath this purple patch. Okay. Okay. I think something like that should be fine. So we'll continue in the next lesson where we'll just keep. Well, we'll keep refining this even more. I think I will need to paint some more. Where is this? I think this yellow tone. 
is the Numarubula dead brush. It's too bright. Take down the opacity, take down the stroke. Paint some more around the air. Just to slightly remove those, erase those redness we have on top of this. No, let me duplicate it. In, let me duplicate it instead. Add the black marks. Increase the opacity. All the way up. Kind of clean this up a bit more. Trying to eliminate some of the redness. So those redness are not too sharp. Reduce this. Maybe even use it. More dollar color. Just take this down some more. Let's see. Face to paint leaves. So let's take this down even more. Like so. So in the next lesson, we'll continue and then keep working on this even more. Just just see some few things to work on at least for the skin tone. Some few things you need to work on. Let's see. Maybe I should increase this a bit more. Okay. That's fine. So, this is fine for now. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.